Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I'm Muhammad Adnan and in this video series we are back again with interview questions and answers. This time we are taking into advanced level of Power BI questions and moving towards Microsoft Fabric. So in future you will see a lot more questions towards Microsoft Fabric. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you are new to this channel just click on the subscribe button because almost 90% of my viewers are not my subscribers. That's not a good sign, but I highly request you to click on the subscribe button and also like and share this video with others so that they can also learn something from this video series and from my channel and get ahead in their career. So this can be a kind of good date for you. Please take care of that. So this is the tricky question which I usually used to ask. So we have a group by functions in Power Query. We also have a group by function index. Why this is in two different places? As this actually solves the purpose of grouping the data, then why this is in two different places? When I ask them, many people actually are not giving the answers. Some of them actually given the right answer. So for this basically is because Power Query is different tool, right? Power Query is not only used in Power BI Desktop, it actually used in Data Factory, in Data Factory Online for Data Flow as well and also in Dynamics, in Power Apps, in every place, in, even in Excel. Whereas this DAX is actually useful in this DAX, you know, like Power BI Desktop, what we are using currently. It came, it may can in future, but for now, this is only in Power BI Desktop here. So used for pre-transforming and aggregating data before loading into the model, which is helpful in Power Query. Whereas the DAX here, it's actually used for real-time aggregations on visuals or a calculated columns here. So this is the main difference between these two. These are two, are two different tools, so that's why they have two different options here. Can we create bidirectional relationships in Power BI? It's the, the simple answer is yes, we can create bidirectional relationship here, but this will have an impact in the performance here. So this is basically I used to ask in terms of performance part. So basically it's not generally a best practice here because if you are filtering one table, it's actually filtering the other tables in whatever the table which is linked to that everything will get filtered. Similarly, if you filter on this table and whatever it is linked on this table is going to filter all the other tables here. So that can have a really in performance impact here. And this will, if your data volume is large, then definitely you will see a vast difference in the performance here. So it is highly not recommended to do this one. Then in that case, now you may ask about why this option is available in Power BI. That's a good question, right? To as a follow up on this one. So there are some specific requirement where you want to use that. So I use this generally in the row level security part. Like if you are creating a dynamic table in the row level security and once the user logs in based on user principle and has to filter the data and one person has access to multiple region. So the region has to filter to the region dimension and that has to filter the other dimensions here. Similarly, if they have going the reverse way. So whatever the access to have this into the fact table as well, if you want to filter that, that can also be useful here. As you can see it on the screen, these are some of the use cases where you can see some of the bidirectional relationship in Power BI here. You can just pause it here and then read it through it so that you can understand how and where you can use this. So there are some of the use cases depend scenario based. I used to ask the questions to the user, which is here. In Power BI, how can you ensure consistent filtering across multiple report pages while also applying filters that affect all visuals on the report page? So what's the answer on this one? So this is a little tricky question here. There are two different options which I know. If you know about more than that, you please let me know in the comment section below. So one thing here is, the main question is, if you are filtering in one place, it has to affect on all the other pages here. So usually people say that one is a sync slicer. They can use a sync slicer, slicer on the button and then go to the selection pane and then they check out those options, whether they want to sync the slicers to other pages or not. Next, the next thing here is you can use the report level filter. We have the visual level filter, page level filter and the report level filter. So you can use the report level filter in order to apply wherever you want to filter. It's going to apply on all the other pages as well. So these are the two options which I expect. If you know something more, let me know in the comment section below. So in the next scenario based question here is imagine you have a Power BI report with multiple visuals on the same page but you want to specific slicer to one filter, one chart and not the other one. So how you want to do that one? So basically this is also a tricky one and I know about the two answers for this one. 
So one is edit interaction. This everybody says about this answer. Like you can go to the format and then go edit interaction. So where you can select why and which visual you want to filter. Simple step. So what is the other option? I used to ask. So the next answer here is basically you can use the DAX function. If these things are filtering means there is actually relationship involved between these things here. So similar to that, if you are, for example, if you have a region slicer, you can just use the region and the DAX calculations that you need to all region. For example, in that case, you will get all the value without any filter here. So these are the two values which I expect from the people. Now the next question here, which is also the scenario base. So you work for a global company with single data set containing sales data for multiple regions like North America, Europe, Asia. Each regional manager should only see the data for the assigned region when accessing the Power BI report without needing separate data set or each region or report for that. How can you achieve this effectively? So this majority people answers that. So this basically you can create dynamic role level security into that particular model where it refers to for a particular user, this is a region access and that region has to be linked with the other region tables here. So through that relationship, you can able to achieve this result here. For that, you need to use user principal name. So that's the DAX which you need to use here. Thanks for watching this till the end. If you haven't subscribed or like this video, I request you to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with others so that they can also get something new or learn or fresher the knowledge from here. So until then, see you in the next video.